Hey, what's up with you guys? Today, I want to talk to you about Balancer, which is one of the most exciting, in my opinion, decentralized exchanges out there uh, along with Uniswap and Curve. And I want to tell you that from today, you're going to be able to use UniswapRI.com also to track your liquidity in Balancer and to analyze the RI and so on and so forth. I'm going to show you in a second a real case example. Now, if you're not familiar with the tool, UniswapRI.com is a platform for liquidity providers where you can really track the ROI of your Uniswap curve and uh, from today, balance your investments. If you are not a user, you can sign up. It's free and uh, you can get the report. I'm going to show you in a second a real case example and walk you through the analysis for Balancer. But before doing that, I just want to give you some context around Balancer. Some of you may be already familiar, maybe you're already investor in Balancer. Some other may not. But the idea is Balancer is another automated market making platform similar to Uniswap and similar to Curve. In my opinion, Uniswap, Curve, and Balance are really like the most innovative uh, decentralized exchanges out there, and each of them has uh, its own special part. So in essence, it's true that they compete to attract investor liquidity, but each of them is kind of specialized in some way. Uniswap specialization, in a sense, is uh, probably the widest offer of uh, tokens and also highest, uh, widest volume probably, and as well as liquidity. Curve is very much specialized on uh, Stable coins, and so it's giving uh, the best prices in stable coins. And the special power of uh, Balancer is really flexibility. So you can see here, I'm on uh, on the interface of Balancer where you can select pools and add liquidity. But the idea, you can see from here, the type of pools you, you're going to be able to find. So uh, different splits of, for example, 80%, 20% pools, uh, pools with multiple tokens. So essentially, a, a user, uh, anybody really, can come here and create their own pool with a you know pretty much free amount of, of tokens that you can add from uh, two as a minimum to eight. And also, you can decide uh, the fee that you are going to be uh, set for the pool. So... There are many more value, variables compared to Uniswap and, and, uh, and Curve, uh, which uh, essentially transform Balancer into a much more flexible platform. And also the other interesting, very interesting concept, in my opinion, is that basically, for example, if you take a pool uh, with, uh, let's take, for example, this one, which is a pretty much, uh, you know, a specialized pool. Um, you know, com uh, which comprises a USDC and another kind of wrap version of USDC. But essentially, um, you know, you are able to create so-called index funds because, you know, if you create a pool, which has a certain allocation, a certain split within different assets, it becomes a sort of a basket of assets which rebalances, uh, rebalances itself. And so you're not just earning fees via a swap with a similar mechanism of, of Uniswap, but you also essentially have a share of that sort of index fund, which is represented by the pool. So all this is uh, kind of maybe slightly complicated at the first um, the first glance. I plan definitely to release more content to explain to you guys all the different details of investing in, in Balancer and what it means, all the different parameters. So stay tuned for more content there. The last thing I want to show you today is really how you can use Uniswap RI to track uh, your ROI and to track your uh, investment in Balancer. So uh, I want to show you a real example as usual. Here is a, a I, I'm on newsofri.com. There are a couple of addresses. One of them invested in Balancer. And uh, from here, uh, you can add multiple addresses. It's easy. You can just paste your Ethereum address here, click analyze ROI. And you're going to see here, first off, for uh, across all the addresses, a few totals. I would start here from the one in the center. So this is the amount that you invested. By the way, you can always see the numbers either in US dollars or in Ethereum. There is a toggle here. But assuming to look at them in US dollars, across the two addresses, uh, the user invested $110,000 originally. Now, the value today is $129,000. And the value, if the user uh, kept the asset uh, outside of Balancer, would be $127,000. So from here, you can see first if you made money at all, uh, overall, and then if you made money because of Balancer specifically. And uh, for each pool, uh, you, or actually for each address, you see the current value. You see <clears throat> the uh, ROI, which is split into two components. The total ROI, for example, for this address was 19%, uh, of which 17% was due to the prices that uh, increased. increased. And 1.74% uh, is actually due to Balancer. Now, when you click on the address, uh, you're going to be able to see a lot more uh, depth in terms of your investment. So I clicked on this specific address. Now, <clears throat> the user specifically invested $99,000. Now, the value is 122. 
And if he kept the assets outside, it would have 117. So basically, we can say the balancer on this specific address made the user about $5,000. And then uh, moving on, we see the charts. So the charts are really an important point to, to, uh, to understand what happened to your liquidity. And we have charts for, for balancer. And then um, let's see. So on the, uh, <clears throat> on the left hand side, you see uh, the chart regarding the, essentially your capital um, as, as a whole. And um, so you see uh, the value of the capital that you invested. And uh, you also see a yellow component, which is the value of the bell token. Now, the return with balancer is similar to the return of Uniswap and the return of Curve. So there is a component due to the fees, right, that gets uh, accumulated in the pool when the user uh, swap uh, one token for the other. And then there is also a distribution of governance tokens that in the case of balancer are called BAL. Now, here you see the evolution of the capital. And here on, on the right hand side, you see the uh, really just the uh, pure return of which we can uh, basically turn off part of the chart we see in blue, these are just the fees. So these are just the component of return due to um, the swapping fees uh, that we're accumulating in the pool. And then there is the distribution of Bell. Now, if I enable this, you're gonna be able to see that um, historically, uh, the return from the accumulation of the governance token has been uh, pretty much a, a big component, let's say, of the return. Um, is actually the main component of return. And um, by the way, from here, you can also see that the return with balancer tends to be pretty high these days. Uh, and, um, and, so, and so from here, you can have a sense of <clears throat> the overall performance of your investment, how much you, you gain due to balancer. And then moving on, scrolling down, you're going to be able to see all the pools where uh, you invested. So, for example, this address uh, invested in a bunch of different uh, balancer pools. And for each pool, again, you're going to be able to see uh, the value that the um, investment had when, uh, you know, when you uh, added the liquidity, the value today. And then, again, the return split into uh, the price component and the balancer component. So to give you an example, for example, this pool... Uh, this user invested in this pool $11,000. Now the value is sixteen, dollars dollars uh, for an overall ROI of 46%, of which 40% was due uh, to the increase in prices. Uh, and, uh, and essentially 5%, uh, almost 6% is due specifically to balancer uh, with the uh, bell distribution and the uh, fee distribution. Now, if you click on one pool, you're going to be able to zoom in even further and get the same chart for that pool specifically, as well as a <clears throat> other bunch of details, which maybe I'm going to explain uh, more in depth in another video, but essentially how many you know, liquidity tokens you have, what's the ownership of the pool and so on and so forth, as well as a, essentially a list of all your investments if you add the liquidity multiple times and divestments if you remove liquidity, there, you're going to see them, all these uh, different trades, you're going to see them here. The last thing I want just to uh, point out in this chart uh, is essentially uh, like this orange component here. So you need to understand that basically when you invest in Balancer, you earn um, you earn essentially the feed uh, and the, the fees kind of accumulate in the pool continuously, but also you earn Bell. Now the distribution of Bell is done weekly every Sunday, and so. Essentially, in yellow, you're going to be able to see the ball that you already earned that are claimable if you want. Uh, and uh, in orange, you're going to be able to see <clears throat> the uh, bell that you um, that you kind of earn by being in the pool, but they weren't sort of minted yet. They're going to be minted at the end of the, the current week. And so this is kind of a projection, is an estimate of the bell that you're um, sort of earning during the week. And, uh, you know, when uh, sort of a, a week passes and the distribution is then approved and is minted, then these oranges will become yellow with the final uh, and, and the actual value of the distribution that you're entitled to. So this is what I wanted to say uh, for today about Balancer. I plan to release more content and to really explain you the details, maybe in a follow-up video. As usual, if you have any feedback thought around uh, Uniswap or I, uh, maybe specifically Balancer, but uh, also Uniswap and Curve, uh, let me know. You find my details here in the different pages, uh, to and you can connect with me either on Telegram or on Twitter. And also, if you like content around DeFi and more specifically decentralized exchanges and liquidity providing, consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a great day, guys. Talk soon.